today, now. Send someone down here. No, I'm training new interns. I need some help, stat. Well, it could be a possible fracture. Ankle looks pretty swollen. We won't know until we get some x-rays, though. All right, ladies and gentlemen, if you'll follow me, please. Now, uh, let's take a look at some of our patients. Jackson, what have we here? Possible fracture. Mm -hmm. Nothing interesting. Let's move on. Try to keep the line together, please. Aha. Uh -huh. mm. mm -hmm. Miss Brancusi, what have we here? The sunny rays tanning parlor went on the blink again, sir. Uh -huh. All right, we have uh, possible second degree burns. What's our procedure? Clean and medicate wounds. That's Tetanus right. Shot. When indicated. And if you get to it early enough, then you would apply ice. Very good. Miss Brancusi, may I see you a minute, please? Yes, sir. There is a child in emergency. A child? No, don't look now. He's wearing a lab coat. He's been following us all over the place. Oh, I think I know. Yeah, I don't care, Miss Brancusi, who he is. I want him out of here. Just get his parents. Tell him to Amsgray Aune. I can't do that, sir. That child happens to be a doctor. I don't care. What are you... A doctor? A doctor. One of the new interns. No, no, no. I'm talking about... I know who you're talking about. He can't be more than 13. 17. Some sort of child prodigy, graduated from med school with honors. A doctor? Nurse over here, stat? Definitely a doctor. Er ist Arzt. Das ist nur eine Vorsichtsmaßnahme. Nehmen Sie zwei davon, alle vier Stunden. Sir, würden Sie bitte mitkommen? Ähm... Ja, Doktor? Äh, nichts. Sie sind, äh, Schweizer, Sir. Freut mich, an Bord zu sein. Sie haben ein straff geführtes Schiff. Ja, das ist es, Doktor. Und, ähm, vergessen Sie es nicht. Ich habe nichts dagegen, Sir. Im Gegenteil. Wenn Sie mich jetzt entschuldigen, ich bin für Zimmer 4 eingeteilt. Ich habe gehört, Sie brauchen Hilfe, Stanley. Es ist nicht zu fassen. Ich komme doch immer, wenn Not am Mann ist. Was soll ich tun? Zimmer 4. Sehen Sie sich das an. Mr. White, it says here you passed out at dinner. Dinner? Call that dinner, lousy, stinking banquet. And you've been complaining of nausea. If I have to eat one more peach mob, I swear I'm gonna just... Do you feel any pain here? Hey! Routine examination, Mr. White. My name is Dr. Schweitzer. Oh, yeah, I'm Mahatma Gandhi. How do you do? What's going on here? What is this? Please relax, Mr. White. I'm going to examine your chest. Hey, is this a joke or something? Uh, hi, I'm Dr. Gates. What have we got here? Temperature's 99.6, and I'm ordering a CBC. Hmm? A CBC? What's a CBC? It's a blood count, Mr. White. We'll just be uh, taking a sample of your blood. There's nothing to it. My, my blood? What for? You, you think I got, like, the flu or something? Could be any of a number of things, Mr. Wyatt. Acute appendicitis, pancreatitis, peptic ulcer, renal colic. Is that right? Maybe. And it could be that you just ate a little too much peach melba, too. We won't know exactly until we get all the tests back. <laughs> until then, you'll be admitted for observation. I'll want a GI workup. Hey, wait, 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 what's that kid talking about? Wait a minute, wait a minute. I, I, I can't just disappear. I got 56 newspapers to feed. Do you know who this gentleman is? Yes, he's a patient with an acute abdomen. He also happens to be a very famous newspaper cartoonist. That cartoon he did the other day, Mr. Wyatt, really cracked me up. Which one? The King and the Queen in the Reviewing Stand. Yeah, I like that one. <laughs> I have to get going. No, no, wait a second, Schweiss, you're gonna like this. See, they're reviewing this gigantic parade, and, and uh, they're, they're surrounded by the palace guard. There's millions of subjects everywhere, all kinds of pomp and glitter, right? And the King is whispering to the Queen. He's whispering. But I have to go to the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be back to check on you later, Mr. Wyatt. Oh, boy. This kid's got a great sense of humor. Yeah. Uh, he's a good doctor, though. You're in good hands, Mr. Wyatt. There's, there's nothing to worry about. Nurse, help the man get out of his tuxedo, okay? Hey, where do you see the one that's running tomorrow? I look forward to it. Good work, Schweitzer. But you might try being a little more diplomatic with your patients. 
Thank you. In the future, I don't think it'll be necessary for you to oversee any of my workups. Jackpot. That new kid over there. Don't ask. He's only been here a day and already he's questioned two of my diagnoses, a little creep. Who does he think he is, anyway? The most advanced brain in medical science. Lancaster Dynamics' newest, most advanced contribution to computer technology, the Model 883. Or as we at Lancaster Dine like to call her, Lana. And from now on, this computer... Uh, Lana. Lana is going to make everybody's job a lot easier by helping us with our billing, our staffing, and our payroll. Uh, I'll, uh, I'll let Mr. Otterholm... Ed. Ed, uh, tell you how it works. Thank you, Mr. Slocum. Arnold. Now, ladies and gentlemen, if I can have your attention, please. Arnold, what is this fabulous thing, that computer? Why didn't you tell me about this new intern, uh, Schweitzer, Elliot Schweitzer? Oh, I uh, thought I'd surprise you. That's pretty exciting, too, isn't it? Arnold, he's only 17 years old. I mean, he looks like he hasn't even gone through puberty. Well, he's a child prodigy, a medical genius. I mean, he graduated with honors. Every hospital in the country wanted him. Well, you wouldn't believe the strings I had to pull to get him here. I don't think it's a very good idea. Wollen Sie etwas sagen, dass er ungeeignet ist? Ich sage nur, dass die Assistentenzeit hart ist. Physisch, nervlich und seelisch. Ich glaube nicht, dass ein 19-jähriger Junge Genie hin oder her das seelisch verkraften kann. Ja, aber es gibt da ein paar wichtige Leute, die ganz anderer Meinung sind. Einflussreiche Leute, die... Das Krankenhaus finanziell unterstützen. Ja, ich weiß. Richtig. Und ich meine, dass wir darauf Rücksicht nehmen sollten. Und was ist mit dem kleinen Schweizer? Sollten wir nicht auch an ihn denken, an die Probleme, die auf ihn zukommen? Ich bitte Sie, Arnold, wie werden die Patienten reagieren auf einen 19-jährigen Jungen, der Doktor spielt, hm? Are you suggesting that we should deny Schweitzer this opportunity? That this boy should be uh, penalized simply because he's more intelligent than we are? Come on, you know better than that. I'm sure he's aware he has problems, John. But I'm equally sure that you'll do everything in your power to help him solve them. All right. Aber erwarten Sie nicht, dass er anders behandelt wird als die anderen Assistenten. Hey John, entschuldigen Sie, ich muss wieder rein. Die Leute laufen ihm weg. Ich weiß, ich weiß. Mr. Wyatt! Oh! I've been waiting for this. <laughs> You're not answering your phone, Mr. I Wyatt. I never answer my phone. Oh, peanut butter. It's always either bill collectors or my editor or somebody I don't want to talk Margaret to. Margaret Needham? Needham, yeah. She's been calling and leaving messages with the switchboard. She says she's your... I know, I know. It's my... Uh... My kid. Your daughter? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, uh, how you like it? <laughs> I love it. By next week, it's going to be running in 56 newspapers. Oh, must be fun. Just drawing for a living. Let me tell you something. Nothing is fun when it's expected of you. You know what I mean? People start expecting things. It wrecks all the fun. Hmm. I'll tell you what. You keep it. Well, uh, what about the 56 papers? Let them wait. <laughs> <laughs> Surely you have better things to do than make idle chatter with our patients? Of course, doctor. I can think of plenty of things to do. Oh, what'd you do that for? We were having a good time. You're not here to have a good time. You're here to get well. You know something? You take this world too seriously. Here, why not have some peanut butter? You shouldn't be eating that. That's what I'm talking about. Why don't you take... Oh, my gosh! What? Oh, something's moving under the covers, quick! <laughs> Mediocre replica of an arachnid. Don't you ever laugh, Junior? Medicine's not funny, Mr. Wyatt. Neither is the fact that you're eating peanut brittle when you may need abdominal surgery. What's that got to do with anything? Surgery is a very serious thing. Oh, yeah? What's that supposed to mean? Take a look. What you got there? Latest lab results on Max Wyatt. 
I was going to wait a couple days to cool him down a bit, but uh, look at that. Yeah, my count is still elevated. Temperature is up. He's not responding to the medication as well as I'd hoped. You try episode? That's next. Now, what do you say to pushing surgery up to tomorrow? Mm, no, no, no. I'd like to get him a little more stable. Wyatt. Wyatt, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Wyatt. Oh, um, what's going on? What are you... Uh, look, Doc, uh, yeah, something came up. I can't stick around. Sorry. I mean, sorry. What? Max? Max? Why? Excuse me, please. Okay. Why, you want to tell me what's going on? Look, I don't feel that sick. Why should I risk my life for a lousy oh, well, surgery? Max, it's routine surgery. Routine? I could die from that surgery. Die? Die? I never told you that. No, and you probably wouldn't have either. Did it ever dawn on you to tell me that I'm pre-diabetic? So what's that got to do with anything? There's a high risk of post-op infection. There could be excessive bleeding. I might need a transfusion. Max, who told you that? Schweitzer. Just what the hell did you say to Max Wyatt? Pardon? Whatever you said to him scared him half to death. Now, what did you tell him? I only told him what I felt he should know. Oh, what you felt he should know was enough to make him check out of here. Now, I've just spent the last hour talking him back in, and then only on the condition that there be no surgery. Do you know what that means, Schweitzer? I was only presenting the facts logically and scientifically. Scientifically? Well, how about presenting the facts with a little humanity, huh? Or psychology? I did my job, doctor. Isn't that what I'm here for? Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm needed elsewhere. Somebody's got to tell him. Here, drink this. It will calm you. Someone's got to make that little twerp understand that we're all just trying to help him. Why does he have to act so... so, uh... Ugh, awful. He's young. Insecure. I know, I know. Under that obnoxious exterior, he's a frightened little 17-year-old boy. And if he ever expects to be 18, he better change his ways. Where's Trapper? Oh, he's with Slocum. Would you like a nice glass of... I don't think so. Excuse me. I'd like to see someone about killing an intern. Take a number. I, I have tried to give the guy a chance, you know, but it's like talking to a machine. Welcome to the first meeting of the Elliot Schweitzer fan club. Cool it. Not one word, okay? Now, I have just come from Arnold Slocum's office. Unless Dr. Schweitzer has shown that he is incompetent. What do you call what he did to Max Wyatt? Schweitzer merely told him the facts. Without a great deal of tact, I grant you, but he made no medical mistakes. Well, isn't there anything we can do about him? Oh, yes. We can all be a lot more tolerant, understanding, patient, and sympathetic. <laughs> yes? All right, I'll be right there. Okay, Ernie, let's get scrubbed up. And, uh, by the way, we will be having the pleasure of Dr. Schweitzer's company in OR. What, a surgery rotation already? No. Dr. Schweitzer is merely following through on a patient he had in emergency. Now look, we all have to make this thing work. Even if you don't like it. Okay, shall we? I'm gonna calm you. <laughs> Bitte ein steriles Tuch. Danke. Tupfer? Klammer? Absaugen? Hannecat, Hannecat. Ich war mal mit einer Lois Hannecat befreundet. Ob sie mit ihr verwandt ist? Warum wecken Sie sich nicht auf und fragen Sie? Claire? Aren't you gonna get that bleeder? Not until I've exposed it a little better. You're probably right. Thank you, Doctor. How's your BP? 120 over 80. No problem. How's yours? Elevated. Die Patientin hat schon vier Blutkonserven bekommen. Werden Sie noch lange brauchen? Von mir aus nicht. Wir sind ja gleich fertig. Es geht doch nichts über Teamwork, nicht wahr, Trepper? Darf ich einen Vorschlag machen? Koffer, Klemme. Wenn Sie mir einen Retraktor geben, könnte ich Sie besser freilegen. Gute Idee. Gib doch bitte Dr. Schwarz einen Retraktor.
Nice work, McIntyre. John, was that the honeycut surgery? How'd it go? Okay, I guess. Uh, Dr. Schweitzer said I did uh, swell. <laughs> I knew Honeycutt was going to have to have that operation the minute she was wheeled in. It. Hey, Trapper, did you do anything about your vertical hold yet? What? On your TV? Oh, no, no, I haven't had time. Well, that's great. It's the biggest game of the season, and your television's broken. What game? Don't worry. It'll be fixed in time. I promise now. Al? You know, over in orthopedics, I invited him to join us. And I invited Sam Whitewood. That brings it up to four. What uh, game? Six. I invited Simpson and O'Flynn. They promised to bring the beer. Six. What on game? Your tiny television screen. You know what we need is one of those really big screens. Oh, I've we can see every play. What? You, what you have? Mm. Oh, really? Like a six-foot television screen? Oh, big six. Big six. Look, why don't you guys all come on over to my place on Sunday? We can all watch the game on my big six-foot screen television. What do you say? Now, Stan, we wouldn't want to put you out. No, that wouldn't be putting me out, John. Come on, it'd be a lot of fun. Uh, huh? uh, what about your... Uh... No, Dad will be out of town. Come on, you guys. Why don't you come out over? It'd be great. Just us guys watching baseball. <laughs> Football. Whatever. If you want to do it, that'd be fun. It's like a really big screen. What the hell? Why not? Great. Okay. I'll well, see you Sunday. It's a Revy Sunday. You got it. <laughs> Hi, Dad, Stanley. Listen, uh, who do we know who sells televisions? I mean, the big screen kind. Uh-huh. Is he cheap? <laughs> Careful. He's got a gun. How are you feeling, Mr. Wyatt? Okay, Doc. Fine. Uh, I notice you've been asking for more pain medication. Feeling pretty bad? Uh, uh, we really can't give you much more, you know. We might mask your symptoms, and that's the only way we have to gauge your condition. Hey, hey, I was, <laughs> I was kidding with the nurse about that pain medication. I don't really feel that bad. Okay, but I want you to be honest with us. You know, if the pain gets worse, let us know. I'll, I'll look. I'll be fine. Okay. Now, you should tell me this hurts. What hurts? Max, you're not helping I'm yourself. not letting you cut me up. You're not getting any better. Your blood count is higher, your temperature is up, the antibiotics aren't doing the job they're supposed to. Well, well give them a chance. I don't know how much longer we can treat you this way. Well, you're going to have to treat me this way because I'm not having any surgery, period. Come on. I'll be fine. I hope you're right. Doc? <laughs> <laughs> Doctor, you wanted to see me? Oh, yeah. Hi, Elliot. Come on in. Uh, sit down, sit down. Uh, listen, uh, Sunday is your day off, isn't it? Yes, sir. Uh, what are you doing working today? Phillips asked me to fill in for him, sir. I didn't mind. Well, it says here you, uh, you did a double shift Friday, and then uh, you did another double shift yesterday, and here you are again today. A little relaxation doesn't hurt, you know. My work is my relaxation, sir. I just don't want you to burn yourself out, kid. I understand the pressure you're under. Pressure, sir? Pressure. And what, you find it easy dealing with life and death problems? Pain, suffering, that sort of thing? I think of medicine as a science, doctor. I don't permit myself to become emotional about it. But you're dealing with people, Elliot. People have emotions. They look to you for comfort, reassurance. A patient draws comfort from a knowledgeable physician. Is that not so? Yes. Well, since I project an image of youth and inexperience, I compensate by offering my patients and my associates the benefits of all the facts at my command. Is that not sufficient? I think there's a little bit more to it than that, Elliot. Uh, I mean, there's... Uh... Things like compassion, sensitivity, 
things that you don't uh, necessarily learn from books, computers. Where do I learn them? Um, what do you do when you have time off? Study. You ever feel a need to be with people? Friends? Um, I have some things to do, Doctor. No, 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 hold on a minute. Just a minute, not so fast. Um, I got an idea. Get into your civvies, kid. You're coming along with me. Well, I can't. No, I don't want to hear it. Come on, come on, you're going to me. Let's go. You know, he said all you had to do was to plug it in and it would work. He said there was no installation, I think. Yeah. Game's already started. I know. I know, Gates. Uh, uh, Wendell, uh, if you could just double check the antenna one more time. On the roof, sir. On the roof, Wendell. Well, I don't get it. I it's, it's supposed to work. Hey, oh, hey, what's happening? Oh, hey, look who's here. Hi, guys. Uh, make yourselves comfortable. Are we late? Did you bring a radio? You're kidding. We'll have this working in just a minute. Oh, no. Maybe I can help. You can? Come in, please, help me. Um, why did you bring him? Well, I thought make him feel like one of us, you know. Who knows? It might help. Don't bet on it, not after what he did to Max. Come right. on. Uh, Max is getting around the clock care. He's in good hands, which is more than I can say for us. Oh, mm. Jack, good. You get a beer. Uh, that's good. That's it. It's finished. It's fixed. It's fixed. Hey. Hey. Oh, well, well, yeah. It's very simple once you apply the elementary rules of electronics. See, the printed circuit is, is connected to the lead wire, which... Here comes the play. Back to pass. He's got a man open. Swing pass over to the right side. He gets away from one man, but he's brought down. Hey. All right, good run. I can recommend the dip gates. On the 30-yard line, so that will be a gain of three. Second down and seven. I'd uh, better get back to the hospital. Hey, you just got off duty. I'm covering for Baker tonight. Billy, you're going to fall on your face. You keep working these hours. Come on, relax. He sees a man in the open. going to be you and Rhymes here. No problem. Now, Max Wyatt on five. You're to keep a close eye on him for any signs of pain. It's the only barometer we have for his condition. Right. First sign of trouble, call Dr. Gates. He wants to know. Fine. Schweitzer here. It's Mr. Wyatt, doctor. Uh, 
He's he's complaining of a severe pain in his upper abdomen. Oh. Better give him a quarter gram morphine. Yes, sir. from Mr. Wyatt. Oh, yes, doctor. I already did it. He gave it to him? Quarter grain, just like you said. Hey, ain't it past your bedtime, kid? What does it hurt, Mr. Wyatt? You know, it doesn't, it doesn't hurt so much anymore. I think I feel better. Maybe I can sleep now. Oh, that isn't such a good idea to sleep just yet. I want you to keep talking. Keep talking, sir. I just want you to stay awake. Do you feel any pain here? Not as much as I did. And maybe this stuff is working. Yeah, it's working all right. Trouble is, I don't want it to work just yet. Here, have a drink of this, Max. Come on, just a little bit. Please, keep talking. Why? You like the sound of my voice? <laughs> it was my jokes. Hey, suppose you're developing a sense of humor. <laughs> Never too late. What do you tell me about your daughter? Uh, Haven't you got a daughter? Yeah, I got a daughter. Um, Margaret, Margaret, wasn't that her name? Yeah, Margaret. Well, how come you never talk about her? Not much to talk about. How come? I don't know, last time I saw her, she must have been two, maybe three years old. Now she's probably 24, 25. You don't know? I don't remember. I was on the road a lot, traveling, tours, business. I was never cut out to be a father. Didn't you miss him? She got along all right without me. Max. Max, aren't you ever going to call her? I don't know. Hey, come on. What? What is this? 20 questions? Do you have enough information packed in that brain of yours? What are you, some kind of computer or something? How old are you, kid? 17. 17. She's got socks older than you. What are you doing here? I mean, why, why aren't you playing ball or having a good time? You got a family? It's good. Mother, father. And brother. I don't know him very well. He's a little younger than I am. And I went, uh, I went to a different school, private school. I only came home on weekends. Ricky's got a, he's got a different group of friends, you know? Baseball freaks. He's really good. Next time I come home, he's promised to. Mr. Wyatt? Mr. Wyatt? Don't go to sleep yet. Oh, don't go to sleep. Oh, Max, bitte nicht. Aufwachen. Bitte wachen Sie auf, Mr. Wyatt. J.J. Jackson. Oh, almost forgot. Oh, you don't need the money? A mere pittance compared to what I earned at yesterday's game. Which reminds me, don't you owe me some... Uh, in a minute, in a minute. Boy, that was some game, huh? Just like Lana predicted. You know, I can't say enough for computer technology. Neither can I. Oh, neither can I. 
Two dollars and 27 cents? Well, who do you know? According to this, I owe them money. You were saying about computer technology? You know, the worst part is that someplace there's a check with all our money. Yeah. Some jerk is probably walking around somewhere with a check in six figures. Morning, everyone. Great morning. been like this? About a half an hour. I was just going to call. It looks like he's been sedated. What did you give him? Quarter grain morphine. A quarter it's grain? all right. I've been with him. That's way too high a dose. You probably masked his symptoms. All right, Mr. Wyatt, I want you to try taking deep breaths for me, okay? Uh, there it uh, is. Breath sounds at the base of the right lung. Uh, I need a liver and a lung skin. Uh, I don't want to die. Oh, no. You're not going to die, Max. Don't worry. Uh, we may need to operate. Oh, do it. Do anything. They call Dr. McIntyre. I can't stand this pain. Go on, call him. Go, now! Schon gut, Max. Ganz ruhig. According to the scan, the abscess is between the liver and the diaphragm. We're gonna have to get in there and drain it. Doctor? I, uh... I want to assist. Afraid not this time, Doctor. Come on, we have work to do. Now. Yeah, let's get a culture. We should have been in here days ago. This wouldn't have happened. Easy. That's how you earn your pay. Es stellen sich multiple ventrikulär Kontraktionen ein. Geben Sie ihm Lidokain. Oh Mann, der blutet ganz schön. Ich hoffe, Sie haben sich für den Rest des Tages nichts vorgenommen, Ernie. Hm? Und das hier versäumen? Niemals. Klammer. to get to it when we did. Oh, that's a relief. If anything happened to him, do you realize... Excuse me, I've got some unfinished business. Doesn't he ever stay put? Give me a break. Either of you seen Schweitzer? God, not me. Not here. He's not here, then where is he? Uh, what? He left. Home. Home? He went home early? He went home, period. Home to his parents. Boy genius just dropped out. Quit. I guess he couldn't take. Fuck, he's stiff.
Mr. Schweitzer? Yeah? Uh, my name's Gates. I'm with the San Francisco Memorial Hospital. San Francisco Memorial. You work with Elliot? Yes. Maybe you can tell me what went on down there last night. What do you mean? I mean, my kid comes home in the middle of the night, stashes himself in his room, won't come out, won't talk to anybody. It's not like Elliot. What's going on? Elliot quit. He... What do you mean, quit? Elliot doesn't quit things. He quit medicine. He dropped out. I can't understand that. I mean, what happened? Well, he made a little mistake, and... No, sir. No, I can't believe that. Elliot doesn't make mistakes. Elliot never makes mistakes. Dad, come on! In a minute, Ricky. You see, Doc, Elliot's mother and me have never been exactly the brightest people in the world. I don't know how we came by Elliot. Still, we always wanted to give him everything they thought he ought to have. Elliot's always been kind of special from the very beginning. He was in kindergarten. They came to us. They told us about special schools. They said we owed it to the community. We thought they were smarter than we were. Just trying to do the right thing. I'm sure you were. Yeah. Well, maybe they weren't as bright as we thought they were. I mean, what if, what if we'd raised our own son our way? The regular school, you know, regular friends. He might be a regular person now instead of some... Boy, you know, it's funny, the little things you think about. I never ever played catch with Ellie. I never saw him fall down, skin his knee. Never even saw him cry. That's not normal. Mr. Schweitzer, do you mind if I talk to Elliot? Hmm? Oh, yeah, sure. Go ahead, you can try. Through the living room, first door on your right. Okay, come on, Ricky, let's try your curve. Okay. medicine just because of one goof. Look, I didn't drive all the way out here just to have a conversation with myself. Yeah, I should have expected as much. Menschliche Reaktionen sind nicht ihre starke Seite. Okay, you made a mistake, Schweitzer. So what? We all make mistakes. We have to live with them. All right, fine. You can't deal with it. That's your problem. You obviously want to wallow in self-pity. Go ahead, wallow. I'm not coming back. All right. You're not coming back. You want to talk about I it? I can't come back. Don't you see that? Why can't you? Because you made a mistake. You don't think other doctors have never I'm made a mistake? not like other doctors. Oh, I see. More is expected of me. I have to be perfect. What do you mean, perfect? 
No mistakes, like some kind of computer or something? Yes, if that's the way you want to look at it, that's what I am. I'm a computer. Elliot, you are a human being. No, I have to be better than that. That's what's expected of me. I have to be perfect. And I failed. Can't you see that? I failed everybody. Only yourself, kid. Oh, uh, forgot. Your paycheck. You forgot to pick it up yesterday. I remember my first paycheck as a doctor. It was exciting. It's wrong. Hmm? My check, it's wrong. What do you mean? It says a dollar twenty-five. Yeah, so? So, so it's wrong. A dollar twenty-five? Well, it can't be wrong, Elliot. It came out of the computer. I tell you, it's wrong. It's a mistake. Elliot, that's impossible. Computers don't make mistakes. You told me that yourself. I don't care. The computer's wrong. It's wrong. I worked hard for this. I worked 20 hours a day and I worked double shifts. I worked harder than any other intern. It's not fair. I worked too hard for this. I always work hard. I always have to be the best. The very best. getting around it. You do good stitchery, Dr. Gates. Thank you very much. I also can my own vegetables. But if it's so good, when do I get out of here? Soon, very soon. You'll have to promise to stay away from banquet cooking for a while. I'll try to tear myself away. I uh, came to apologize. Apologize? You? I did you a tremendous disservice, Mr. Wyatt. Uh, someday, if you're ever again in need of a doctor, I hope you'll let me make this up to you. Why not start now? Oh, no, not now. Not for a couple of years. Well, I'll keep busy with research, that sort of thing. But who am I kidding? I'm going to spend some time at home for a while and be with my family. That's a good idea, kid. Take your time growing up. It's not the easiest thing in the world, you know. Okay, Max, you need some rest. Now, as for you, what would you say to uh, a double rocky road with lots of marshmallow on top? What's a rocky road? Ask him. He's buying. Wait, I'm buying? I'm broke. So am I. Yeah, but the cashier likes you. <laughs> she does? You mean to tell me that your old man never bought you a rocky road? Well, me and my dad never spent much time together. Uh, yesterday I realized how important a father can be. Hmm? He's kind of special. And who knows, he might even teach me how to play ball. This is Matt. This is your father. Stan, what's going on? Complete mental breakdown. Just couldn't handle it, I guess. I don't know. Make sure you rest in peace. Where's she going? Back to her maker. Well, look at the bright side. We'll be getting real paychecks again. Yeah. Yeah. Well, at least she gave her all. Especially to you. Wait a minute, Gates. I never cashed that check. 
butt check. The one for $783,000? How did he know that? Well, according to my calculations, based on the differential monetary distribution, the remaining balance, based on the guesstimated total oh, payroll... Let's get that Sunday. Oh, I get what it is. You guys think that I would have cashed that check, don't you? Listen, I would never do that. I mean, even if I would, I would. Guys? Hey, guys, 